Hey and welcome to this flow motion After Effects tutorial about handwriting or about animating handwriting. So this is part two of a small series that I'm doing at the moment and if you haven't watched part one I would recommend you watching part one and if you like what you see just feel free to hit the subscribe button real quick because the more clicks I get from you or the more subscriptions I get the more of those nice tutorials I can do, the more we can all learn and benefit from each other. So really appreciate this. So what I've done in the first tutorial, I have created a handwriting font and tweaked it a little bit that it integrates nicer into the paper. And then we have just drawn one path like we would drawn it, applied the stroke effect, made the brush size so big that we cover the old font and then go to reveal original image, animate the endpoint from 0 to 100 and there we are. Let's bring out pen and animate this in 3D space. So for that let's just go to the 3D switch for all the layers, create a new layer, camera, hit OK. By hitting C you get the different options and I'm just going to rotate this. So let's just play with the camera orientation and its rotation. And let's maybe start really close on the first letters. And we can create a background layer and make this just black. Bring it to the background. And now let's bring out a pen. I have already created one, which is simply a picture of a pen that I masked out. Make this a three layer also. Flip it. And what I'm doing now, I'm Try to position this as good as I can and I'm bringing the anchor point directly to its peak and I can use the pen behind tool for that or I simply hit Y. Just bring it down there just like so. Now I can scale it around this point and position it so that it looks nice. And I can easily find out where it hits the paper because I can just bring it down and then I'm seeing where it touches it. There we go. Now we want to have the pen do the same path like our handwriting. And that is pretty easy. We just go into our mask that we have created Click on the path and hit Ctrl C for copy or edit copy. Then we go to our pen, click on the position and edit paste. Let's hit on our final text and hit U to see where we started and ended with our animation. So we started here, let's bring out a marker for that and end it at 5 seconds. Bring out a marker here. And what we can do now, we can click on position and this way all keyframes for the position are selected and we can position that exactly on the first frame. And now while we hold down the Alt button, we can extend the animation and it always stays the same. It just changes its length. And look what we have here. We do have a pen that is writing handwriting. So now, already pretty good. Let's just animate our camera. And we want it to start here. Position and point of interest and at the end 
or let's go to four second mark. Let's just pan over to that side and see where our pan is. And at the end, we wanna just zoom out to reveal everything. Of course, you can also always adjust the speed of your animation. You can also add motion blur to your pen. Which in this case may just be a little bit too fast. So let's quickly change that. Let's just extend that to the eight second mark here. For the pen we do the same. We hit on position again, go to our first frame, hit on alt and just drag it to the eight second mark and do the same for our camera. Select everything, hold on alt and just go to the eight second mark. Last cool thing that you could do now or two more things you could do at first you could add a new layer, a light, make it a spotlight and Yes, it should cast shadows. Bring up the diffusion already. You could all always tweak all of this later on and hit OK. Just bring this more. Now we go to our pen and go to the material options and this should cast a shadow. And this should accept shadows and lights. Now Let's just work on the position of the light a little bit. What you could do is go into a different view. And as I said, you can now tweak with the settings, make it a little bit brighter, open up the cone angle so that we see more. Maybe for our pen, we don't want it to accept the light but only cast shadows. And as I said, let's tweak the shadow look a little bit. We want to have this more diffuse and not so dark. Switch back to one view. And now your paper casts the shadow of your pen while it's writing. And that is really cool. So a last step, as I said, two more steps. That was the first step. The next is camera depth of field, which helps this shot tremendously. So let's turn on depth of field. and play with the focus distance. Which I'm going to hide the pen for that. And also the light. So just that I can tweak this a little better. I'm going up with the aperture to really have it out of focus. And now when I'm playing with the focus distance, I can really see where it is. Now we kind of have the distance where everything is sharp. We can just increase the aperture like really a lot so that we really get this kind of macro feel to it. Turn the rest back on. And make a quick ramp review. Let's set a few keyframes for the focus distance here because when we are at the end, of course, we are further away from the paper, so we need to increase the focus distance. Also, maybe for our light, readjust this a little bit so we can see the whole paper here. And for the pen, hit P for position and we just add an extra keyframe at the end. Let's just fly this one out. 
and let's do a quick RAM preview. Maybe we just animate the intensity on. So as you have seen in the last two tutorials about handwriting, about advanced handwriting animations, this can really look pretty realistic at the end if you think about different settings like the 3 space always helps, the out of focus or the depth of field of the camera is always a help and the light of course. In combination with the shadow which really makes the pen interact with the paper. I'm a big fan of all the small details that together make up the final look like the small streaks on the letters that make it look like they really sit on the paper and also the displacement map that I explained to you in the first tutorial where the structure of the paper really defines the structure and the shape of your letters. And a combination of all of this really, really helps. So I hope you learned a little bit and if you liked the tutorial just subscribe to my channel. would really, really appreciate it because that's why I'm doing all the tutorials. It's just for you. It's sharing my knowledge and the more subscribers I have, the more chances I have to make more of those tutorials. And now I wish you a lot of fun in After Effects.